Hi, it's Mike with Utastic. I'm standing here at RailsConf 2014 with Rafael Franza, who is one of the uh, awardees of the Ruby Hero Award this year. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Uh, so, so Ruby Hero Award, uh, basically what I was told during your, your presentation that you're one of the most active contributors to the, to the Rails uh, platform. Uh, congratulations and thank you for your work. Um, well, what, I, I just wonder what got you started and, and how did you come to this uh, to this day? Like, what, what, what led you to here? All right. Uh, three years ago, I was in my hometown. It's a small town back in Brazil. <laughs> and I was working with HP. Yeah. And I saw that Joseph Ali, one of my co-workers, was nominated uh, Rails call member, so I tried to, to do the same thing he did, mm -hmm. and I was looking for every single committee on the Rails repository yeah. and trying to understand how the project works. And after some some weeks, I submitted my first pull request. It was about change, helping what. I was doing to make Rails work with mini tests, and after that, I just was jumping on every single issue that people yes. open on the repository and trying to fix the problems, also improving what I think the framework should be improved. And that that is how so you were just looking like what you just were eager and like whatever needs to be done. Yeah. And, and, and what did it? Yeah, actually. Exactly this. And when I first started, I ha actually, I still don't, don't know how to speak English very well. Oh, you're doing great. So, when I started, I did not know anything about English. I was trying to, to learn how to communicate with people speaking English. And that was amazing because in, I could read and write very well and, and I could communicate and help, help people with my, my knowledge. Right. And, um, you know, you, you cover a, a lot of ground. You, you, you cover a lot of different issues across the code base. I mean, yeah. We looked at your graph uh, for uh, commits and uh, it was a broad span of, of, of contributions across the entire code base. How do you, do you keep that all in your head or do you work inside of a certain area mostly for a little while and then you move to another area? Because, I mean, how do you, because yeah. that, that's a lot of ground to cover. When I started, I was only working with the, the forms helpers. That was easy to me to work in that I already know how it worked, so that was how I started, but after that I I was trying to help people to fix the problem, so I I just went in the code base, let's say for Active Hacker and try to understand the problem and fix fix it or I don't know, improve the code base. And maybe this was easy for me because I was following the Rails commits for so long, right. for a long time before yeah. it started to go to boot. So I already know where I need to, to find the the place that needs to be fixed or changed. It has been digging into the code base and doing these fixes made it easier to do your paid work uh, with yeah. Rails. So you, you, it's like because you know what's going on in there. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not uh, magic. It's a great thing to do because every every single talk that I, I give in any conference, I'll, I'll, I'll 
always finish saying people to try to understand the software they are using because that will make it the job very very right. easy. Yeah, if you you understand you know how your tools work, you're going to be that much more effective using yeah. your tools. And and going in and contributing sounds like it's a great way to uh, to give back as well as improve your own skills. Yeah, so it's a, a very effective way to learn how to use the, the tools. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak thank with you. me. And again, congratulations and thank you for your work. Thank you. Thanks. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.